Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the WNBA. Welcome, everyone. This is the WNBA on 2K Sports. And on tap tonight, it's the Connecticut Sun going up against the Las Vegas Aces. From the 2K booth with Brian Banifatemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Suniga. Thanks for coming along. Here's Stewart. And the layup's good off the glass. You think Stewart's bothered by a little contact? If so, think again. What a finish. Pass to Fouls. Yes, and a nice assist from Diana Taurasi. It makes it so easy for your teammate when you can lead her to the rim with a pass like that. Jackie Young drives in. Outside, Stewart. Out to the left wing. Young with it. Thomas on her. And so it looks like the Aces will retain possession here. Clock at six. To the middle. Out of bounds. It'll be Sun Ball. I think she was surprised to see that pass coming her way. She reacted too late. Tarasi outside. Gets the three-pointer to fall. With a beautiful outside stroke, Tarasi strikes fear in the eyes of her opponents. Up top, Young. Wilson. She's covered by Thomas. Pass to Wilson. And she uses the glass on the layup. Simply tenacious on the O-boards. Wilson attacks the loose ball with the intent of putting it back in the hoop. Now Tarasi. Thomas guarded by Young. Maya Moore for three. And the sun hit again from deep. Please, please don't take your eyes off her because she can make plays from multiple spots on the floor. And a shot goes in. A skilled ball handler. Young can slice and dice the D up with the, the dish or the score. Tough cover in the pick and roll game. And so it looks like the Sun will retain possession here. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Here's Fouls. A capable defender with great reach. Chambage is difficult to score on when she's locked in. Not enough bodies on the glass right there and they paid for it. And it'll happen again and again if they don't put more effort into boxing out. And that's what it's all about, Brian. Rebound, effort. A nice shot by Wilson. Early on, nearly perfect from the floor. Just one miss on their first five shots. Diana Taurasi from the arc. An absolute bomb from three-point range. A gifted shooter. Taurasi can knock down shots from well beyond the arc. Really extends the defense. Cam Beige, no good. Well, I'm going to say the defense got pretty lucky right there because she's going to make a lot more of those than she misses when she gets that much room. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to, to deal with their passer. She followed up a nice defensive effort on that possession with an equally good rebound. Tarasi can't get it to go. Las Vegas trailing. Asia Wilson goes in. That's in, coming off an assist from Jackie Young. Uh, she's looking good, three of four so far. Now a timeout called by Connecticut. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. To the inside. It's stolen by Parker. Last break, Las Vegas. Ionescu outside. Rebounded by the Sun. Deflected. Pass to January. Bonner. Tarasi. She's covered by Hamby. Joanna Bonner for three. Drills the three-pointer. Last five makes. All five from long range. 
and the defense hasn't pressed up to deny it. They're hanging back, and they're getting picked apart. Pressure the ball, pressure the man, pressure something. Now here is Ionescu. A nice shot by Stewart. Don't expect an MVP like Stewart to let the last three go unanswered. Strikes back by flexing her own ring. Rossi with it, defended by Stewart. Wilson pulls it down. Terrific job defending the basket that time. It's not an easy task stopping her when she's headed to the rim. Up and in on the layup. The toughness of Inescu on display going through the contact. Sabrina plays with attitude. The Sun with the lead. Pass to Jones. January, covered by Inescu. And here's Diana Tarasi from the arc. Back to January. Tarasi. High post, Sylvia Fowles. Four on the clock. From past the arc, Diana Tarasi, and that's good. The triples keep on falling, guys. Three in a row now. These defenders can't stay so soft on the perimeter. Pass to January. Here's the three. The shot, no good. And Las Vegas the other way now. And there's the whistle. That goes on January. That is her first foul of the game. And these calls, they can be some of the, the toughest calls for officials to make. But in this case, I think she got it right. The defender still moving there and never really got set. And so here is Connecticut. They lead by seven. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Back to Jones. Las Vegas grabs the miss. That's a shoot-around jumper. Absolutely no excuses for missing it. Here's Jones. That one misses. Would have counted had it gone. A tenacious defender. Parker's intensity is what every coach in the league appreciates. We've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. The Sun on top, leading by seven. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And guys, what's your take on the Sun so far? It's been a long-range battle for them, and one they are winning. Some sharp shooting from deep, a uh, big part of why they're up. This defense is giving their shooters free reign to operate from beyond the arc. And when you allow shooters to get going, then you're in trouble because they can hit even when they're well defended. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. Kicks it out to Jones. Bonner, she's covered by Hamby. January can't get it to go. And a three on three fast break. Back to Parker. Shoots over Jones. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots. Next. It's going to be on Dewana Bonner. Putting the ball on the floor is one of the many things Parker does well on the court. Very difficult to stop. And it's her first trip to the line. The first free throw is good. And she makes both free throws. A veteran hooper. Parker's been in the game for over a decade. Uh, it's just been an incredible career. Hedeman, no good. You know, sometimes just because you can make it from way out there, it doesn't mean you should try. Kind of hypocritical coming from you, Tim. I mean, it wasn't that far out. Anyways, she could work for a better shot than that. And that one's good more. No issues for more, even with some contact. What concentration, what focus. On the wing, Angel McCautry. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Kelsey Plum. She might not have the long-range ability of some other players in this league, but she'll knock down open ones like that. Pass to Jones. Here's Heideman. Tried to come right back with the three of her own, but it's no good. Dan Beige with it. The three-pointer off the mark. Here's Moore. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. 
If you let Moore get inside, she'll usually find a way to score. She's a crafty offensive talent. Pass to Heidemann. And here's Thomas. For three, Maya Moore. Poked away. Well, after hitting those two three balls in the first quarter, it looks like she's cooled down a bit here in the second. Parker, no good. Fires for three. Peterman, no good. It's been a bit of a struggle for her this quarter in terms of scoring the ball. Gambage, good. Always great to see Biggs run the floor on fast breaks. Cambage's coaches will appreciate her effort level. Now here's more. Ten points for her. Pass to Jones. Heedman inside. Six to shoot. Moore covered by McCautry. And again, Connecticut no good. The ace is trailing. Back to Parker. Down low. Now Plum. McCautry outside. It's good from long range. Well, this here, this is a game again. Good run to close the gap. Yeah, they've done a great job to get back within striking distance. Solid comeback effort. But that effort has to keep up. And the Sun call time here. Looks like the coach saw some things out there that need adjusting. And it's going to take a little time to talk it over. Yeah, and never a bad idea to use a timeout if there's something that's got you concerned. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter play. For three, Diana Taurasi. It's rebounded by Sabrini Inescu. Well, with a clear look at the basket, she doesn't really miss a lot of those. She's a very strong finisher on the fast break. And always in control, even at full speed like that. So impressive. And here the sun. Outside more. Yes, and a nice assist from Diana Taurasi. She has shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves. Here's Young. The kick out to Ionescu. Cam Beige. Rihanna Stewart from outside. She's now two for three with that miss. Pass to Thomas. Moore, guarded by Young. Launches a three, and Maya Moore, good for three. Moving without the ball, working for good looks. These kinds of things are just second nature to refine scorers like Moore. Now here's Young, and she banks in the layup. She's simply too quick for her defender. Left her in the rear view and knocked it down. For three, Diana Taurasi. And the sun hit again from deep. Now let's see, that triggers another little explosion from her after hitting three triples in the first quarter. Pass to Ionescu. Young. Locked. Now here's Tarasi, covered by Ionescu. Count that one. Don't you dare underestimate Maya Moore's playmaking ability. She reads the floor well and can distribute accordingly. Here's Young. From down in the low post, it goes. She's uh, having quite the quarter here, shooting the ball really well and just an impressive performance on all cylinders. Here's Moore. And Brianna Stewart with the block. The incredible wingspan of Stewart coming in handy. She can cover a lot of ground. That pass led her so perfectly, she didn't even have to break stride. Pass to Thomas. Tarasi. She's covered by Tarasi. And now the aces on the break. Here's Young. And a great assist that time by Sabrina Ionescu as that one goes in. In transition, Young has fantastic finishing ability. A nose for the bucket. Looks to run. For 
three, Diana Taurasi. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's off. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going. What a game we're seeing from Maya Moore. She has that slasher mentality, and we really saw evidence of it in the first half. She got to the rim again and again and kept on scoring. Look, we know that she's got that great first step, but she must have woken up on the right side of the bed today because she looks fast out there. The three. The shot by Tarasi, no good. For the tie, and it's laid in by Young. And this game is tied up now. That's their third straight make off an assist. And it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball movement. And there's the call on Young. That is her first foul of the game. Pass to Tarasi. Back to fouls. The shot off that time. Excellent D there from Liz Cambay. Here's Young. Lays it up and banks it in. Okay, coach needs to do something to get his team back on defense and put an end to these fast break points or it's not going to turn out well for these guys. They're just getting run out of the gym. That is four. Count them. Four straight baskets in transition. Back to Moore. Thomas outside. Let's it fly. And she gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. A tough-minded talent. More plays under control and can really get it going. Thomas with the ball. Now Young defending. Here's to Rossi. That's her sixth field goal today. And with that, she is six for 11. That's what I call pretty passive. Timely recognition as to where the open teammate was. Young. She's covered by Thomas. Jackie Young drives in. Owning one of the best handles in the game. Young is a handful when she gets going to the hoop. This is her first opportunity at the line this evening. First free throw is good. And so she makes both from the line. And here's January. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. Well, if this ball game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. They've had a strong game on that front, without question. Three straight makes to start the second half. The top overall pick of the draft by Las Vegas in 2019, Jackie Young came out of college early, becoming the third junior to ever be taken with the top pick after Candace Parker and Jewel Lloyd. Now here's Tarasi. He's got 16. Fouls. Pass to January. Want of honor for three. And the three ball is good. She isn't a uh, real uh, elite three-point shooter, but Bonner hitting shots like that, it changes how the D plays. They have to respect that and come out every now and then. He's got 19. McCautry outside. But they'll get another chance. Back to Parker. Can't hit that one. And it's the Sun taking it the other way. There's John Quell Jones with the three. Rebound by the Aces. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. The foul drawn by Young, it's hard to keep her in front of you, and that opens up so much more of her game. And she makes the first. That's also good, so she hits them both. The Sun trailing. Pass to Bonner. And she finishes nicely on the layup. Not afraid to do work in the trenches. Bonner has a nice touch around the rim. And good that time. time, out, time out. Defensively, they've got to start bodying them up. You know, get a little bit more physical and help your chances at winning this game. Yeah, they're getting out last in the paint. And the worst part, it's at both ends of the floor. And the Sun call time here. Now January. 
She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. To the left wing. Fouls. Parker defending. Here's January. Banked in off the glass. Good speed by Fowles. She's normally more of a finisher, but she also has the awareness to find open teammates. Here's Plum. And that one good. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. Pass to January. Now Fowles. Parker defending. To Rossi outside. January. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. The drive by Ionescu. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Kelsey Plum. You see the mobility there. Ionescu knows she can drive to the rim and finish at will. There's Rion January with the three. Rion January with another miss. Pushing it up. Parker gets the bucket. They've looked terrific in transition today. Uh, that's... Uh, had a lot to do with their success. It has. They've done a good job recognizing any time they've had numbers and then taking advantage. We've seen it again and again. The Aces with the lead. Here's Parker. That one, good for two. Wow. I mean, come on. That's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, it's just nowhere to be found. They have to start committing more bodies down low. Timeout, Buries timeout. it from three-point range. They just continue to splash those threes. Eliminating the deep shot has to become priority number one for this defense. Yeah, absolutely, Brian. You can't keep giving up that many points behind the arc. Both teams will make substitutions. Ionescu has it. Pass to Wilson. Outside Stewart. Wilson guarded by Jones. A nice shot by Wilson. They own the paint right now. Ten straight coming from the inside. They are constantly finding lanes to the hoop. Getting great looks in tight. Now here's Thomas. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Ionescu outside. Three-pointer Brianna Stewart. Good. And Sabrina Ionescu gets the dime. It's over when Stewart can catch and shoot. With her pure J, that's just too easy. Jones outside. The tray. Rebound by the Aces. Good job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. You have to rebound to win, and that's exactly what we're seeing tonight. Thomas left side. Tarasi. Jones. She's guarded by Wilson. Back to Tarasi. Pass to Bonner. Jones. Soft touch off the glass. A premier interior scorer. Jones' physical presence is enough to intimidate defenders. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head into the fourth quarter. The Aces on top, up by six. And we'll have the start of the fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Well, you can count on her for a couple of pretty assists, just like this one, each and every night. This one's a beauty. It sure is. I mean, look, she's a maestro. Great vision, a gray head on her shoulders, really everything you want in a point guard. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. The fourth quarter should be good. When you allow Cambage to get the ball that deep, you really have no choice but to foul. Too smart, too tall to stop. So she gets them both. They're working hard to get inside and draw contact a little more than they did in the first half, Tim. You know, and defensively, if you're trying to battle back, you can't keep sending them to the line. And so much for repeating the three-point barrage she put on in the first half. Nothing here in the second half. Thomas, good. With speed and quickness, Thomas brings an exciting style of play to the floor. Now here's Young. Offensive rebound. Stewart, pass to Young. Here's Wilson. That's in, coming off an assist from Jackie Young. 
They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals, but they've come from inside the paint. Maya Moore for three. Score that one for her eighth field goal. Eight for 11, in fact, on an accurate night. Wilson right side. It falls for her seventh bucket of the contest. She's seven for nine today. Yeah, Young is such an effective ball handler. Spots the wide open shooter and passes the rock. Now a timeout called by Connecticut. They'd seen enough scoring in the paint and wanted to send a message to their team. Lock things up inside. Yeah, you're right, Tim. I guarantee you this talk centers around cutting down on all those points coming against them in the paint. And maybe it's more help. It's to front a player. They've got to try something. And the Sun making a change here. Connecticut trailing. To the paint. Here's Fouls. Jones. She's guarded by Wilson. And she was camped there in the lane, and she gets a three-second call. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively, too. McCautry. Pass to Stewart. Young with it. Down low. And Asia Wilson again. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Another three. And the D hoping they don't heat up from out there like they did in the first half. Here's Young. And that one's in, too. She has missed only three of the 13 shots she's attempted. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize his team. Well, they better rally soon. They've given up three straight buckets in the paint. For three, Maya Moore. Liz Cambage with the rebound. They've built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things well. You know, Brian, one of those little things has been rebounding. They have come out and taken control of the glass. Inside, kicks it out to Jones. And here's Diana Taurasi from the arc. The time basket out, out. good off the assist from Jonquel Jones. They're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. You're right, three of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. And the aces call time here. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter now. Pass to Cambage. Moore with the steal. And here they come. Up the court. Rejected by Angel McCautry. Impressive timing on the rejection. Love when McCautry is engaged. Inactive on D. The Aces with the lead. Now here is Stewart. Back to Young. Now Cambage. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. An athletic and efficient scorer at the rim. Cambage causes headaches for opposing defenses. And the Sun call time here. Yeah, coach wants to get everybody on the same page out there and maybe change up some things as well. Yeah, that's probably a good time out. You might as well talk things through. And, and kind of change that game plan as well. Man, showing some terrific range. A reliable player with ice in her veins. Tarazi will not be denied when her team needs her. Here's Young. And she drops in the layup off glass. Well, tired legs affect you at the defensive end first, and that's what's happening here. You nailed it. And as much offense as we saw early, we're seeing even more of it here late. Now here's Jones. Ball's knocked loose. Pass to Fouls. Moore. Covered by McCautry. Down to five on the shot clock. And there it is. Huge basket from Fouls. That's why she's won titles at the WNBA and international levels. Right side, Young. Damn beige, good. Special delivery right there, fellas. Just a wonderful entry feed. John Carl Jones from long range. 
That falls. A nice feed that time from Jasmine Thomas. Not all players have a sense of the moment like Jones. Part of why she's won so much in this league. To the inside. Stolen by Sylvia Fowles. In transition, here come the Sun. And that one's good more. The coaching staff attributes Moore's clutch gene to her tremendous self-belief. She thrives in big moments, as you just saw. Now here's Young. Here's Wilson. Counts the basket and the foul. That one on Moore. When you need Wilson the most, she almost always delivers. Has a sense for the important moments. After the end one, it's a two-possession ball game. They're putting the hammer down, guys. And Connecticut has possession. Pass to Moore. Thomas with the ball. Back to Tarasi. It's good! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Pivotal basket from Tarasi. You can see why she's won multiple finals MVPs. She loves pressure situations. Here's Tambay. Outside Young. To the middle. And Sylvia Fowles with the swat. Just so dominant. Fowles has won multiple Defensive Player of the Year awards for a reason. It's still within reach. But their offense needs to be just about perfect from here on out. And threes better than twos. Now here is Stewart. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Cans it from downtown. An example right there, guys, of how they uh, never started coasting, even as their lead kept growing. Well, Tim, they're just a determined group. There's no neutral gear, no matter what the lead is. It's only full speed ahead, and that's the type of basketball I love to watch. Yeah, 100 miles an hour. Out to Tarasi. Let's it go from the wing. And Cam Beige pulls it down. And an intentional foul right there. Good on the first. And that makes it a seven-point lead. So she goes two for two at the line. And it's an eight-point ball game. Knocked away. And Connecticut has possession. Back to Thomas. Here's to Rossi. Off on that one. So the Aces win it.